Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everybody. How are you today? Okay, my students, we would like to continue our material today about another exposition sex. This is the second meeting. Okay, my students, do you still remember what have we discussed about analytical exposition text? Okay, I hope all of you still remember about the definitions about analytical expositions. Yes, type of spoken or written text that is intended to persuade the listeners or readers by presenting arguments to analyze or explain how and why. Jadi, sebuah tipe teks tertulis maupun uh, lisan yang digunakan untuk menarik para pendengarnya atau pembacanya memahami atau menyampaikan pendapatnya untuk menganalisa atau menjelaskan bagaimana dan mengapa. And then for the purpose is to pursue by presenting argument untuk menarik perhatian dengan menyampaikan pendapat ya, melalui teks tersebut. To tell the reader some, uh, that something is important Untuk menyatakan kepada pembacanya atau pendengarnya Bahwa hal tersebut adalah penting For the general structure There are three structure The first is Thesis It introduces topic and indicates the writer positions The writer also outlines the main arguments to be presented. So, jadi untuk memperkenalkan topik dan menunjukkan pembaca posisi penulisnya. The second is argument. It shows a series of arguments that support the thesis. Ini memperlihatkan beberapa pendapat atau argumen untuk mendukung tag tersebut atau tema yang disampaikan and then the conclusion or reiterations in this stage the writer restates his or her point of view di bagian ini penulis menyampaikan pandangannya for the language features there are simple present tense that use For example, in my opinion, a middle school teacher works hard. Ada penggunaan pada peng, uh, penambahan AS atau S di kata kerjanya. Kemudian, English is the world most important language. Penggunaan to be is him or uh, sesuai dengan subjek yang digunakan. Kemudian, ada connectors, penghubungnya ada to me. I mentioned several parts of arguments. Bisa menggunakan firstly. Secondly, finally, at the first, second, also, kemudian moral for for the moral, therefore, dan sebagainya. And then to summarize or conclude the point of view, sometimes they use in thought, in conclusions, in a word, in a brief, to sum up, on the whole, all together, in all, so, therefore, itu digunakan untuk Uh, summarizing or concluding jadi ringkasan dan juga untuk kesimpulannya and then sometimes they use emotive words like I'm worried of his safety saya khawatir tentang keselamatannya she felt in love with him since her first night dia jatuh cinta pada pandangan pertama ya Would that qualify statements? My son friendly probably. Di sini ada statement pernyataan qualify. Ada probably kemungkinan. My son friends probably will eat at our house tonight. Ya. Anak teman kita, anak teman kita mungkin akan makan di rumah kita nanti malam. We left for work at our usual time. Nah, kami meninggalkan kita pergi bekerja di waktu-waktu biasa. Work at link argument. 
Firstly, however, therefore ini biasanya digunakan untuk link. Terdapat ya. Ada ada ada, ada ini, ada hubungannya. Selanjutnya, for example, the title is COVID-19 health protocol violators should be sanctioned. Jadi, protokol kesehatan itu para pelanggarnya harus diberi sanksi. For the thesis, pembukaannya, di situ ada COVID-19 sampai their distance, kemudian arguments, ada argument, ada tiga argument. Firstly, argument pertama, secondly, argument kedua, and lastly, argument ketiga, kemudian ada reiterations or conclusions, di sana ada ringkasan atau kesimpulannya di sana. Selanjutnya, dalam pembahasannya, the first is they use simple present. For example, not only does it prevent us from being infected by virus, but adhering to health protocols also keep others safe. Kemudian, connectors ada penggunaan firstly, secondly, lastly, itu connectornya, penghubungnya. Kemudian, summarize, singkasannya, ada kata therefore. The health protocol follows how to be sanctioned because of the reasons given above. Itu ringkasannya dari teks tersebut. For the difficult word, the first is sanctioned. Sanctioned itu diberi sanksi, sanksi, sanksi ya. Ada infected, terjangkit. Violators itu pelanggarnya. Ignore, ignore itu ada mengabaikan. Declare itu dideklarasikan. Okay, my students. If you have a difficulties, you can open the dictionary reference on the www. Di situ sudah ada uh, referensinya untuk alamatnya. Kemudian to understanding tentang teks under exposition juga sudah ada di sana. Kemudian tipe-tipenya juga ada. Silakan. Kemudian kalau kalian menemukan uh, pemasan, bisa menghubungi Pak Har langsung lewat WA ataupun email. Okay, my students. Please uh, summarize the material today and send to your teacher. Atau silahkan kalian tuliskan ringkasan materi hari ini di buku catatan kalian. Kemudian nanti akan diketahui oleh Bapak Ismu Tofa untuk kelas 11, 1 sampai 11, 5. And for the Grade 11, 6 to 8, 11, 6 sampai 8 kepada Bu Rani Fatmawati. Grade 9 to 11, 11, 9 ke sampai 11 kepada Bu Rumiati. Kemudian for the last is grade 12 to 14 to Mr. Kharudin Nisawan Alevin. Okay, thank you for your attention today. Always keep health and... Don't ever obey the COVID-19 health protocols and always uh, keep your family, keep your prey and don't forget to uh, uh, do all of the protocol that have been given by your government and I hope you always doing face Ramadan actually. Jangan sampai lupa puasa Ramadan dan juga jaga kesehatan di rumah, tingkatkan keimanan kalian dan juga helping your parents. I think this all thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oh, 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 oh,